Hi beautiful souls, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to share my August bullet journal setup with you all. So for the month of August, I decided to do a florin theme because you know, I love flowers. Okay, so as you can see on the cover page, I started by drawing a cassette and around the cassette, I threw in a bunch of different flowers. I took inspiration from the vintage cassettes that I found on Pinterest. I really love those transparent cassettes with flowers inside them. They look so pretty. I mean, I just love them. <laughs> okay, back to the cover page. For the colors, I decided to go for mostly blue and yellow tones. And uh, for the cassette, I used watercolor because, uh, you know, I wanted that kind of off color. So I first used watercolor in the shade yellow ochre. And then I used orange for the sides of the cassette that you'll see in a minute. By the way, as always, all the supplies that I've used will be linked in the description box down below. So I just want to take some time and chat with you all. Uh, from the last one month or so, I'm feeling so unmotivated. I just want to sleep and do nothing and because of this I'm not using my bullet journal a lot as I used to but you know that's not a big deal I mean even if you're not feeling good and even if you are unmotivated then that's totally okay <laughs> by the way every day I'm pushing myself little by little I'm taking baby steps every day and if you are also feeling unmotivated, then that's totally okay. Take baby steps every day. Try to set small goals for the day. Like instead of doing 10 tasks, uh, cut it down to at least one or two. And once you are done with the one or two tasks that you set for the day, you'll feel good and much more productive. I know this was kind of off topic, but I really wanted to share this with you all. Anyways, back to the cover page. After filling in the flowers with the colors, I added some extra details with my black and white gel pen. I then wrote August with my Tombow Fudinosuke hat tip brush pen in cursive calligraphy font and beneath that I made a mini calendar. On the left page, I have my section to write notes or anything important. So I pasted these two flowers and made a box. And I love how simple and beautiful this page turned out. Moving on to the next page, I have my calendar spread. So. This time I went for a full two page calendar. I love this kind of calendar because I get the space to write down anything important on the box itself. By the way, if you are curious, each box is of 2.5 into 3 centimeters. I then added a bunch of different flowers and at the top I wrote August in the same font I used for the cover page. and. At last, I added a drop shadow to the calendar.
the next page I have my budget tracker. Now I made a box with three columns, one for date, one for description and the last one for the amount. And again threw in bunch of flowers to match the whole theme. And I don't think that I need to explain anything else about my budget tracker because it's very simple and pretty self-explanatory. On the next page, I have my habit tracker. For my habit tracker, I made six boxes for six different habits to track and uh, the habits that I'll track are the same as always, that is meditation, hydration, study, workout, language and self-love. Here as well, I threw in bunch of different flowers again to match the whole theme. Next up, I have my first weekly spread. So on this spread, I drew a cassette first and threw a bunch of flowers around it, same as the cover page. And uh, for the cassette this time, I used Tombow Dual Brush Pen in the number 761. I then made 8 boxes from Sunday to Sunday. By the way, I messed up with the days of the week. I realized I forgot to write Tuesday. but I'll fix it later and yeah at the end I added drop shadows to the box. And this is the final flip through of my August 2021 bullet journal setup. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. See you in my next video. Bye!